Rayshawn is my boyfriend. We've been together five and a half months. Rayshawn is an awesome gentleman. He makes me laugh, makes me smile. He's just an awesome person to be around. Just need to really know what's going on with his past and so we can go forward. Rashawn has been accused of attempted assault on two women. It's kind of even hard for me to say that just because of the nature of the crime. He has been accused of holding a knife to their throat and trying to disclose them and assault them. I have some doubts only because I've been in that situation. I've been a victim before. I was molested and raped by um, two family members as I was growing up until I was 13. You never, ever know who is going to put their hands on you, rape you, molest you, touch you in the ways you don't want to be touched. And you can never really come back from that. Before me and Rayshawn started dating, I knew about the accusations and the crime that he supposedly committed. He has said he's absolutely never have tried to hurt any female, anybody like that. Sometimes people are just railroaded into things. It took me a while to agree to start dating him. A lot of my family has asked me how I can be with a man who has this as a past. That's why I really need to know the truth. I hope the truth can finally come out today and give me some peace and maybe even some peace for others around me and Rayshawn. First of all, I want to thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. I feel like you're my last chance of getting this off of my, off of my chest. I've been living with this for almost eight years now, um, but I'm here to clear my name. I think it's time. Because you went to prison for Absolutely. Uh, attempted rape of two different women. Yes, sir. Right? Um, tell me what happened. Um, 20 years old. Um, I was sitting at home with my girlfriend at the time. Um, late night, all of a sudden there's boom, 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 bang, bang. Police are at the door, so I opened the door. Um, they asked me my name. I gave them my name. Uh, they threw me in cuffs, dragged me out the house, threw me in the back of the cop car, never told me what I was being arrested for, never told me any charges. I got down to the police department, and that's when a detective had came in and he told me that I was being charged with assault. So he ended up sliding a couple lineup papers or pieces of paper with the supposed victim on the paper and asked me if I knew her. I told him no, never seen her, never heard of her, never met up with her, and they ended up putting me in jail. A week later, I ended up going to preliminary to court and she didn't show up. So they dismissed the case, let me go that night. Uh, I ended up going back home. I got a job working at McDonald's a couple weeks later. Um, I was coming home from work one day, broad daylight. Walking down my street, I see my house is surrounded by cops. So I walk to the house and try to find out what's going on. Once again, they asked me my name, threw me in the cop car, never accused me, I mean, told me what I was being charged with or anything like that. Sent me down to the Lancer Police Department again, and that's when they pulled out another piece of paper with a whole another female on it, accusing me of the same exact crime, same place. Steve, this happened, they say this happened in broad daylight. Once again, it just doesn't make sense why I would do this twice in a month um, to two different people who know my first and last name, know my address, they know where I live. The story itself didn't make any sense. I sat in jail for a couple months, court appointed lawyer. I hired a private investigator uh, to look into my case, do some legwork for me because they revoked my bond, they wouldn't let me out. And he came back empty handed. He talked to who refused to have anything to do with the crime or with the, the case itself. She just wanted to She wouldn't to give it. you uh, like an alibi. She was my alibi and she would not come to court. Why she wouldn't she do that? Well, Steve, as you heard from the story, I feel like I was set up by somebody. Um, but what, did you have a good relationship with this woman? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I mean, you had to find this extremely odd that she wasn't helping you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It, was, it was very angering. It was very disturbing. I felt like you can't tell somebody that you love them and then not be there for them when they need you the most. Right. And then what happened? So as I sat in jail and fought my, my case, um, the detectives decided they were going to put both the cases together. They were going to charge me with everything double. 
So in other words, all my charges were gonna be two times worse than what they would have been if it was just one person, you know? So my lawyer ended up coming to me with a three-year plea deal, three to 10 years. And he told me that if I did not take the deal, that I'd end up going to prison for 25 to life. I probably wouldn't come home. You came here and you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, I did. And obviously you want to pass, but you think you're going to pass? I guarantee I'm going to pass. And your girlfriend, Wendy, uh, you've been dating her, so, uh, she said five and a half five, months? Five, six months. Does she believe you? She does, but... She has doubts. She has some doubts herself. We actually yeah. met before... All of this all had this happened. happened. I knew her way before then. Oh, so you knew him... We've been Prior friends for that. a long time. Yeah. Yep. Did you stay in touch when he was in prison? No, actually, I didn't know what happened to him after oh, okay. the accusations yeah. and stuff. Um, I was in a relationship at the time, and when the accusations came out, he wasn't allowed to be around anymore. Okay. So I never seen him again until about seven months ago. And then you start dating, and and at what point do you say, you, you know, obviously you find out what he was in prison for. Did it stun you? What What was your reaction? When it you... did, because the type of person, he's, he's not that type of person. He's real gentle. He's kind. Right. He's, he's sweet. Um, now, of, of course, uh, you yourself was a victim of uh, this type of crime. I was. Um, does this make you more sympathetic to the victims? It does. I, I know the pain, the hurt that it causes. It, it destroys you as a yeah. person. You never feel the same again. So, Rayshawn, uh, you came here, took a lie detector test. Yes, sir. Uh, you believe that you were uh, falsely accused, falsely imprisoned. Um, now you get out, you're dating Wendy. And Wendy, you know, has some doubts, and she's been traumatized in her past. So you came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you attempt to rape any woman in Foster Park in 2014? You answered no. Did you at any time in 2014 force yourself sexually upon any woman in a park? You answered no. Regarding the crimes of sexual assault with intent to penetrate on two women, were you the one who committed these crimes on them? You answered no. The results came back all the same to those three questions, and it came back that Ray Sean did not tell the truth. That's I'm sorry, but that's That is And that's, the, that's that lie detector get, test guy. He told me, he asked me a thousand and one questions that had nothing to do with this crime. Oh Wendy, my God. Babe, this isn't true. Okay. Just, How did you live just, with me? This uh, isn't true. Okay, so the first exam, we gave it to him three times. You need a plus three to pass or a minus three to fail. He had a minus 11. Uh, the second exam, we tested them three times. Uh, it's the same thing. You need plus three to pass, a minus three to fail. He was a minus nine. And nah. listen, Ray Sean. I'm, no, I'm done with this, go. That's I fine. know, I know what the truth is, okay, man. But let me and I know that them lie detector okay. tests were set up, man. Nothing. No. You pled guilty. Absolutely. Nobody to save to, to save my that. own life, okay. to save my own life, but, but, to save time okay. out of my own life. Okay, but that's what that was your choice to do. And now, because you chose to plead guilty, you're a felon, you're a sex offender. And That's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even done, I wouldn't even did this if, if I would've knew that it was gonna come. Why would I do this if I knew I was lying, man? That's what every everybody says on this damn show. I know, but now I'm starting to see, I'm starting to see, man. The whole season 15 of the show, we've highlighted people that were in prison that were in for uh, heinous crimes and they've came here and they've passed their lie detector test. So we've had multiple people that come on the show and pass after they've been in prison and who took plea deals when they said they didn't do it because they were scared and facing time. The same situation as you. The only difference is you failed miserably on your lie detector test and they passed. So I want to ask you, Wendy, I'm what, w Wendy, Once again, right. what do you do now? I go. You're gone. I, I, I gotta do me. I got kids. I got grandkids. I gotta protect everybody around me. And I think that's a, a really good I response. Can't. I wish you both I've the been best there. of luck. I can't do this. Take care. I was
My name is Steve Wilkos and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.